So once we've got this super stable uh, suspension implemented, um, we can implement some improvements to the actual control of the bike. So the turn friction for making maneuvers is improved. And we can also implement things like better height control. And that will have differences in the handling of the bike that you can feel a lot more than you used to be able to. And they've implemented is a, a thing called anti-fall, which effectively kicks in to arrest the bike's fall when you fall from a great height. So if you do big jumps off dunes on Daymar, the bike doesn't crash into the ground now. When you get back to the ground, it much more aggressively stops itself and prevents itself from crashing. That's that's really good. That's really good. Um, that's, that's, that's one of the things that you have to consider um, currently um, in 315 when you have a hover bike, right? You Once you do a big jump, the biggest fear is just crashing. <laughs> so... I'm glad that they uh, they're addressing that. This is it's uh, even just seeing how they're flying around, they're riding around with with it. It seems a lot more improved. It seems like they're a lot more closer to the ground, and um, it, it seems a lot better um, in terms of how the the grab lev is actually operating. Last but certainly not least, we have this. Uh, amazing feature where if you power off the bike or you get off the bike the suspension will intelligently sort of relax the bike down that's cool and so that is that is cool because that's what we need right once we won't once we put the grab left vehicle whether dragonfly or nox doesn't matter Right. Once we put it inside of a ship, a ship hangar, we just want it to sit on whatever platform we put it on. Right. For example, your Carrick. Um, also, recently, the 400i, where um, the, the, the bike, where you put the bike, it's actually a small area. So if you could just put it right there and then as soon as you leave the vehicle, it will land right on top of it and stay put. That would be awesome. Um, I'm glad that they were they added this piece right here. Similarly, when you get on the bike, it will softly ramp in the suspension so the bike will sort of softly lift up and you're ready to go on your adventure. I'm hoping that the combination of all of these new features and improvements really make this a lot better. Um, and it's been a personal hope of mine for quite some time that I've been able to do this rework because Gravlev just has such potential for such amazing moments. And I know when it's used, for example, in the Daymar Rally, it's just it's it's just such a cool sci-fi vehicle. And it's been my it's been my wish for, for quite some time that we can make that that experience, you know, as good as it can get. These new Gravlev improvements coming online and I like it, man. Um I like it. The I like the fact that they're they, they're finding the time to improve it. To be honest, the fact that uh, three sixteen is uh, lackluster in terms of features, new features that are coming in. Um, I really hope that they are focusing on bug fixing for three sixteen, and because there isn't that many features coming in, they they found some time to be able to um, address the grab lab issue. Um, finally, um, so now. Um, knowing that this is coming in and if it works really well as they're showing it, um, I will consider um, putting a bike on one of my on one of my ships for sure and just and, and just start riding around with it more often. Recently, I've been avoiding them um, simply because of the the bugs that are associated with it. You know what I mean? Um, so um, I'm really happy about how they're doing this, um, and I look forward to testing this out myself.